This is a Jordanian Armed Forces Ration Pack Menu B. Now weighing in at just one pound, 10 ounces, I'm not sure if this is a 24 hour ration pack or a single meal, but I can only assume it's the latter. So without further ado, let's give it a look. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got some canned tuna. Wow, that's a pretty cool looking can. Product of Thailand, a lot of it's in English. Got some mixed jam here, so that's a nice looking variety. Strawberry, some peach, looks like maybe some papaya. And a pack of honey. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a different one, that's for sure. And here's a utensil set. And it uh, looks like a Lipton tea bag. <laughs> that's a neat thing right there. And um, what else is in there? Is that maybe some sugar packets? I'm not sure. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Interesting in English and in Jordanian. Look at these uh, pamphlets. A little content sheet and also uh, instructions on heating this. Um, looks like here it says boil in the pouch for 10 to 15 minutes or um, you could also put it up against a hot metal surface or like you know an engine block heat it that way or uh, <laughs> bury in some hot sand for um, 20 to 25 minutes, that's handy. You know, when you got hot sand, that's one way to heat up some retort pouches. Here's your contents sheet. Yeah, we'll need that, let's see what we got here. Um, here's a cool little retort pouch of a 100 gram pack of white beans. <laughs> and um, let's see here. Oh, that's pretty dense feeling. Well. I wonder what the date of production is on this. I can't quite tell. But this is um, some chicken with rice. <laughs> this thing is simple. If this is a uh, 24 hour ration, I'm hoping those guys um, get some sort of uh, supplementation, like say, uh, field kitchens or at least some like bread or something. Because they're gonna need it if this is a 24 hour ration. That's for sure. <laughs> Wow, this is definitely a rare treat. Can can tell you that. Yeah, look at this. This is a new ration, produced January third, twenty sixteen. So, I mean, the tune is fresh. That means this whole thing is good to go. And yeah, this is a twenty four hour ration. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad. Hey, nice gusset on that pouch, by the way. Let's see if he can actually stand it up. You know, this is actually a 24 hour ration, but I'm gonna enjoy this as a single meal because I'm actually pretty hungry. And we're gonna be boiling these two retort pouches for about 10 to 15 minutes as instructed. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with that utensil pack. This thing here, kind of like an accessory packet essentially, kind of has a civilian look to it though. But I'm gonna first drop this tea bag, which by the way smells really decent, into a uh, mess cup here. <laughs> Let that steep and kind of do its thing. And while that's doing that, actually, I guess these are sugar packets. Let's drop those in there. Interesting spoon. Looks to be. Uh, Relatively sturdy ish. So let's check out that main that chicken and rice. Has that nice gusseted pouch. Let's see how that's looking. Oh wow. Some fine looking basmati rice or something similar. Let's put this out onto the tray real quick. Well, first off, that's how it stands up. You would be eating it out of the pouch like that, but we're civilized here. 
Nice. Oh, that smells very fresh and very simple and pleasant. You know, I gotta go for a bite of this right away. Some chicken and rice, very basic. Mmm. That's a very, very bland dish. Wow, it's good. It's, um, the rice has like a nice little buttery kind of flavor to it, but the chicken is a little bit dry. I think it could use these uh, beans, which would the be where the flavor is at. Oh yeah, that has a nice little tomato sauce thing going on. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what it is, but it smells actually still pretty simple, but there's that little bit of rice that was on the spoon already. I gotta try this out on its own. Oh wow. Oh, that's very nice. Um, just a light tomato sauce, not very salty. The beans are um, a little bit al dente. You know, they're just not very cooked. You could you could definitely boil this in the pots for 10 to 15 minutes and it wouldn't be overcooked. Mm, that's really good. Here. But we gotta spice up this main and there's nothing else that we can do. I mean, I know this is uh, probably a travesty what I'm doing here, but I mean, quite frankly, the main is um, definitely the most bland thing. So that's gonna help out that chicken big time. We could throw this on there as well. Now the, the tuna really is a great extra for protein. This one here seems pretty basic. It smells fresh, I'll, I'll say that, that's for sure. So let's check out that mixed jam and honey. This jam is only about half full. Well, that looks pretty nice. Has a um, decent little strawberry jam sort of smell to it. That's the only distinguishable fruit smell that I can pick up. So this honey, not crystallized whatsoever. It's looking pretty good. All right, so let's first try out this main with those beans on it. You know, you definitely could have had them separate but that wouldn't have been any fun at all. Mm. Oh yeah, that is much better. Mm. That is wholesome. Oh, that is just a nice, savory, pleasant flavored kind of dish. Just a light kind of tomato sauce. It's not exactly complex, but it's savory. It's, I would say, acceptable to just about any palate. Mm. That basmati rice is a little bit dry. And um, oh, what is that? Is that a whole piece of chicken in there? Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's a piece of chicken. Mm. Yeah, the chicken and rice is dry. This is still very enjo enjoyable despite its um, lack of complexities and flavor. The chicken actually looks pretty processed. That piece was weird. Here's a good one. Mm. Putting the beans on there completely save the dish. Without that and the spices, it would actually be um, a little bit grueling. But if you were starving, it'd still be nice. Let's check out this tuna. Kind of a mushy texture. Hmm. Ew. That was tangy in a weird kind of way at first. Um. Then that goes away. I don't know. That that wasn't all that great. Um. That's why I gotta try it out again just to make sure. Cause I don't know. Sometimes with tuna, kind of reminds me of that IDF tuna. You know, you could definitely um improvise with it. Hmm. Yeah, it's tangy. And just kind of um, basic. Not exactly sure why it's tangy, what that's all about. You know, the honey and jam, these both look great. Oh wow, look at that. Interesting texture to it. Mm. That's seriously some of the best jam I've ever had in my life. That tastes like a fruit snack. I could eat an entire jar of this. Look at, look, look at the texture of it. That is so awesome. That is the coolest jam. Oh wow, I've never quite had anything like this. Mm. Best thing so far, I'll say that. That was some awesome jam. Let's try out this honey. You know, I probably should have mixed this into the tea, but i can try it out on its own for starters, see how it is. Oh wow, that is, that is such an interesting and delicious honey. Has an unusual follow-up. Nice floral kind of flavor to it, but there's something else that follows up with. What kind of honey is this? This is really good honey. I don't know. I feel like I need to do this with it because um, that needed it. That is very interesting honey. It's not super sweet. That's fantastic honey. 
it's not super sweet and um it's just different honey i mean it really did i i cannot put my finger on it it's bothering me here that i can't describe it to you that there's more to it than regular honey let's try it with this rice oh wow that again you really have to um improvise with this dish throw those beans and some honey on it let's get a little sweet and a little tangy let's get a little bit of everything in there now let's check this out hmm there we go now it's awesome that's actually it just takes it from bland to um relatively complex because now you got a nice sweet and savory with that you know halfway decent chicken i mean it's not super processed well it's pretty processed you know what you make the best things and that's what you do with rations you mix things up mm. in this case with jordanian rations you mix the honey and the beans with the main in menu b that's for sure you got to remember that in case you ever get one this really is an interesting meal so this tea's steeped for a good bit let's try out this yellow label tea should be pretty basic and it is just basic Lipton yellow label tea with a Jordanian label on it. Not bad. Very basic. A light tone of lemon, which actually, with all that sugar, it kind of gets masked a little bit. I hope the Jordanian soldiers uh, have supplementation to these rations because this is a 24 hour ration. So by itself, it's a bit lacking to say the least. So hopefully they get um, some field kitchen meals and whatnot. This something like this. The chicken is somewhat processed, but not as much as, say, USMRE. You can definitely add to this meal. It's it's um, light on the spice, which is not a bad thing because it gives you options. You know, so you can add your own spices and kind of do what you want with it, which is pretty cool. This ration. Watts got it from a German woman who went backpacking out to Tel Aviv, Israel, met up with another woman at a hostel who asked her, if, uh, hey, you want to go to Petra, Jordan with me? And so the lady said, yeah, sure. Anyway, they went out there, and um, once they got there, they ended up uh, stopping off at, along the way, this was one of the parts of their adventure, was um, they met up with some Jordanian soldiers at a uh, bus stop, and the Jordanian soldiers wanted to give them some food rations and uh, the German woman reluctantly took it after these guys were just kind of like come on you know a little food gift they're just trying to be friendly hmm and um, the woman took it and she took it back home and then uh, Watts ended up getting this thing pretty interesting really not an easy ration to get and thanks so much Watts off MRE Info he runs a shop called MRE Mountain on eBay he sells rations of all kinds check him out so this was a Jordanian Armed Forces 24-hour ration pack not bad anyway this is Steve 1989 off MRE info hope you liked the video and I'll be coming back at you with something new or old all right cool see ya